What's going on everybody? Captain Horn 23 here and today I'm going to show you how to install the No More Feathering mod for LSPDFR in less than 5 minutes. Don't forget to join my LSPDFR and X-Plane 11 community discord. In here I have many channels related to LSPDFR including 4 help channels with helpers standing by to assist you with any issue you may have with LSPDFR. I also have X-Plane related channels where you can come in here and talk with other people that play X-Plane and make new friends. And you can also go on group flights and VATSIM with your friends. I will also be going on group flights with people, so if you wish to fly with me, or even play LSPDFR with me, feel free to join the Discord. I'm always looking for new members, the link to join the Discord will be in the description. Alright everybody, the No More Feathering mod, what it does is it pretty much makes it where your car doesn't jump up and down and, you know, just be really annoying and just essentially puts the pedal all the way to the floor whenever you accelerate a little bit. And that's what feathering is in a car whenever, you know, it you take off real quick and it just comes close to spinning the tires. And that's something that we all have to deal with in Grand Theft Auto V. But not anymore with this mod. And uh, it's actually a really easy installation. The config can get a little difficult, but we're going to dive right into that. Now, all we're going to need today is this no more feathering winrar.zip and uh, the native UI and scriptvnet as always, the links will be in the description. When you click that first one, it's going to bring you to No More Feathering. And we see here this legendary plugin solves the age-old problem of feathering the throttle and having your car jump up and down like some ADHD kid on speed while it's patrolling the streets of Sandy Shores and LSPDFR. So it's very useful. I use it all the time. It's especially useful for us keyboard players. Um, so when you're ready, just hit the download this file and agree and download and drag it up to your desktop. The next link is the community scriptucv.net. This is different from scriptucv, and it essentially allows you to run scripts. So hit this first green download button here, and it's going to bring you to a GitHub. And you want this .zip right here, the thing with the little cube beside it. And the final thing we need is the native UI. This allows the menu to be pulled up if you need it. And you want this release.zip, the same thing with the little cube. And drag all three of those out to your desktop like I have here. And what you want to do now is navigate to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. Yours is going to be somewhere different than mine. Mine is in my F drive here, and I've got a lot of copies here. Remember, it's always the one that's just Grand Theft Auto 5 and nothing more. And it should look something just like this. All right, after you're in here, we can. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is install Scriptic V first, and then Native UI, and then No More Feathering. So open the Scriptic V. And inside, you're going to have these files here. Now, this is really important that you follow this step or your game might crash. You do not want these XML files that I have highlighted. You can see type XML document. You do not want to drag those in or it will crash your game. All you want is the two application extensions like I have highlighted here, the configuration settings, and the ASI file. Nothing more, just these four. And then simply drag them into your Grand Theft Auto main directory, just like that. After that, what you want to do is right click in your main directory, go to new folder, and then name this scripts, just like that. And it's obviously going to be empty since we just created it. And that's how you install scriptucv.net. Now next is native UI. Open it, and it's going to have two little folder or files here, a .dll and a .xml. You want to drag and drop these into that scripts folder that we have just created, just like that. And that is it for native UI. And finally, we have the No More Feathering. Open that up, and inside we're going to have Scripts, Plugin Guide, and README. Just navigate into the Scripts folder, and it's going to have two files, just like the native UI. Simply drag and drop them into there, just like that. Alright, and that is it for No More Feathering. Next, what we can do is go into our configuration settings, and it's going to be a .xml. What you want to do is highlight it, and then right-click and edit. And it's going to bring up a notepad here. Now, this looks like a lot, but essentially everything right here is just telling you what it's going to modify. So the general stiffness of the steering, I just leave all this the same, honestly, but you can change like the responsiveness here, the stiffness speed game. You'll just have to play around with these settings and figure out what you like best, but again, I just leave them as the default. Throttle stiffness, standard throttle, throttle modifier key, you can change this if you want. 
to write control key um, full throttle toggle key true and now that's going to um, if you press the right control key it'll engage full throttle the speed limiter um, is a thing that you don't need if you have cruise control but um, that's why I have it enabled as false but yours is probably going to say true and um, disable on full throttle true you can change these to how you like and the speed limiter um, I really just leave all these the same here but you can read what it does here and then uh, enable speedometer you can enable a speedometer and true and the unit is going to be um, right here if you want kilometers per hour set that to zero miles per hour is one and meters per second is two full throttle uh, tool tip I just I don't even know what that does it's just false I leave it but yeah I, I really don't change anything except I disable the um, speed limiter with false here and I change my unit to miles per hour because I am in the United States and the United States likes to be different from everybody and use miles per hour instead of kilometers per hour and for that matter we use Fahrenheit instead of Celsius all that good stuff anyway so you feel free to look over all these and change them how you like but again I only change I disable the uh, speed limiter and I change my units all right and once you're done with that you can exit out and save it and you're ready to go into the game and see what you just added and play around with it all right guys so that's going to do it for today's video if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and join the discord if you have any issues whatsoever and i will see you guys in the next video